What is something you wish the team would do more often? I wish we played more Ultimate Frisbee like we used to back freshman and sophomore year. What advice do you have for freshman teammates? Don't quit the team just because you don't like one person or one thing about it. Stay with it and really find the passion in running and then decide if you want to stay. What is your favorite cross-country tradition? The pasta dinners. It brings everyone together and then I get to throw a ball really hard at people in the middle. What is your most memorable cross-country experience? The water balloon fight in the locker room my freshman year. What life lesson did you learn from cross country? If you think you're done, you're not. You can always push harder, you can always do better. What is your favorite post-race cheat food? CC's Pizza. And what was your favorite meat? Nike South Invitation. What song do you listen to when you run? Lose Yourself by Eminem is just my favorite um, because it starts off kind of slow but it really builds up and it's just very motivating. What advice do you have for your teammates? So freshmen they're always really you know concerned about getting up to being an upperclassman and being a leader on a team but I would advise enjoy your underclassmen years because they go by very fast and before you know it, you'll be looking back at the good old days, I guess, and um, just make sure you enjoy them. What is your favorite cross-country tradition? Definitely playing frisbee with the team, um, whether it's after a race or on a Friday night. It's just really fun. And what is your most memorable cross-country experience? My first adventure run. We went to the uh, radio station. We ran about six miles, so I was absolutely exhausted, but it was really awesome to get to go with the teammates. What life lesson did you learn from cross country? Determination and endurance. You're not going to get what you want right away. You just got to build up to it and um, the people that get what they want are the ones that stick with it and don't give in to the temptation to stop. What is your favorite post-race cheat food? Well, CC's in general, but more specifically the mac and cheese pizza. What is your favorite meat? Sophomore year, the Galveston Beach Run. So the way it works is you just run down the beach a mile and then back the other direction. Now, sophomore year, for whatever reason, there was this big pool of water that it must have gotten stuck before like the tide went back. And um, I'm running and I'm, you know, there's kids ahead of me and the first the kid in front of me jumps into the water. It goes up to his knees. There is no way that you're gonna be able to hurdle this entire thing because it's like easily 12 feet. So I just jump into this water and you have to like scramble to get out of the sand. It was, it was just hilarious. And of course on the way back, the wind is just killing you. But it's just very enjoyable and there's no other meat quite like it, so. And finally, who would you like to thank for your, their support in your cross country career? Well, I would like to thank um, all of my coaches throughout the years, whether junior high or high school, but also my family, <laughs> especially um, freshman year having to drive me all the summer practices. I'm um, also just for coming to the races and supporting me. It's really been great and um, I'm glad to have your support. Alright guys, this is Thomas Kidd, a reporter from NBC, and Julian Cuellar, our biggest cross-country teammate! And the first question is, what song do you listen to when you run? The song I listen to when I run? Yes. Fetty by Playboy Cardi. Uh, what does it sound like? Very, oh! Fetty on Fetty on Fetty! Oh, hey! Oh, Fetty on oh, Fetty oh, on oh, Fetty! Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Well, this next question is, what advice would you have for freshman teammates? What advice? Uh, 
Not to act too cool, because like you get a clown you. Yeah, exactly. Better be careful. Mm -hmm. Make sure you stride. Mm -hmm. Don't try to cut people off, bro. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. cool. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. These heels, I mean, these foot. Come at you. Right. Okay, <laughs> what's, what's the third, third question? What is your favorite cross country tradition? I was turn, turn back around. Favorite cross country tradition is the dinners. The dinners? Yes, I totally agree. Yes, sir. All right, what is your most memorable cross country experience? Memorable? Yeah. Memorable? <laughs> You're stupid. Okay. Memorable. Uh, my most is when um last year when uh what's his name the blonde kid like scraped his face up because he tried jumping over Dylan. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's not blonde. Uh, oops. Oh, Brown well. hair. Oh. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> All right. Uh, what life lesson did you learn from cross country? Life lesson? A zero. Anyway, what? I yeah, I don't think I really learned a life lesson. Um, All right. Next question. What is your favorite post-race cheap food? Cheap food. Oh, wait, cheap food? Cheap food. Okay, post-race. Uh, when I eat gluten-free, like, when I eat, like, something with wheat, that's the cheap. Yeah. Something with wheat? Yeah, something with wheat, anything. It could be, like, anything. pie or pizza. Yeah, or Julian is gluten intolerant. Yeah. All right, last question. Who would you like to thank for their support in your cross-country career? Oh, uh, I'd like to thank the coaches. Yeah, Coach Bush and Coach Story. Yeah, for sure. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. And me. And Tom. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys very much. This was Julian's uh, interview. Goodbye, cross country. Start crying. <laughs> <laughs>what song do you listen to when you run faithfully by journey what advice do you have for freshman teammates um hard work leads to success so don't give up and just keep pushing and you'll get better the times will drop what is your favorite cross-country tradition um hmm, probably just hanging out on the bus after the meets or chilling out in the locker room after a hard day of practice. What is your most memorable cross-country experience? Um, probably Nike South. That was a big deal to me, personally. Uh, what life lesson did you learn from cross-country? I really learned that with, with strength is in numbers because as I run alone, it would be hard for me to keep my pace and get faster with people. That ran is a little faster than me. I can draw my times and get better as a runner. So, I was just the biggest lesson I took from my two years of running. What is your favorite post-race cheat food? Um, probably CC's Pizza. Great place to go. Who would you like to thank for their support in your cross-country career? Um, I'd like to thank Jacob Bradley and Evan, Evan Oakley for getting me on the team in the first place because they told me about it and they got me to sign up. And um, I'd like to thank all my coaches my teammates as well and yeah are some favorite former teammates who have graduated? Um, Gary McGregor, Tyler Malabat, Jake Hoffelder, and Faith, Faith, and Dylan. Yeah, that was it. What song do you listen to when you run? 
Oh, okay. I have a lot, but I'm gonna say Going Bad by Meek Mill and Drake and Friends by Jay Z and Beyonce. Those are like my top two. What advice do you have for freshman teammates? Live in the moment because these next few years are gonna go by pretty fast. What is your favorite cross country tradition? It would have to be when we, we had Coach Half, we would always have the um, the board and we would all sign it and one of us would take it home. I forgot the name of it, but that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, the Golgotha board? The Golgotha board, that's what it was. Okay. What is your most memorable cross country experience? It would have to be, I would say Golgotha every year. What life lesson did you learn from cross country? Um, always push yourself past your limit because you, you never know like how far you'll be able to go. What is your favorite post-race cheat food? Whataburger, patty melt, no onions, and I'll take a cup and I'll fill it up with <laughs> Coke, Sprite, and lemonade. All right. And what? then dip the patty melt in spicy ketchup. <laughs> what is your favorite meat? My favorite meat would have to be, I have one from like every year. So freshman year, it'll be district of my freshman year then sophomore year it was the beach run then junior year i would have to say district for junior year two then senior year it would have to be tomball yeah that one uh who would you like to thank for their support in your cross-country career i would like to thank my parents of course and both coach half and coach store and then Alyssa because she's she's been like my biggest supporter since like junior high and then also, Catherine and Olivia. All right. Thanks, Kenyon. All right, what song do you listen to when you run? All right, the song is called Booty. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's like by Matthew Santoro. I don't know who it is by, but it's called Booty. Okay. What advice do you have for freshman teammates? Um, uh, just run fast and, and pace yourself. And consistency is key. Be, be good at practice every single day. And run, run, with, the, run with the faster people. What is your favorite cross-country tradition? Uh, it has to be a pasta dinners or man ball specifically. What is your most memorable cross-country experience? Um, okay, so I have two. One of them would be the one at Gar the Christmas uh, the Christmas parties at Garrett's house, or it's gonna be um, swimming at the lake with the team. What life lesson did you learn from cross-country? Um, the life lesson I learned from is that consistency is key, no matter what. What is your favorite post-race cheat food? Skittles, period. Uh, what is your favorite meat? My favorite meat? Steak. No, no, like, uh, race. Oh, race. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> probably, uh, state previews last year. Parking go pizza, coach! Who would you like to thank for their support in your cross country career? Um, like how many? Can I list more than one person? Yeah, of course. All right, Alyssa Bob, Coach Thor, Coach Heffelder, Coach Bush, my parents. Christy, myself, and my brother. That's it. Okay. Right All right. Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, I got you. What song do you listen to when you run? 
The song I like to listen to when I run is Run the World by uh, Beyonce. It really gets me going. And what is your most memorable cross-country experience? My most memorable cross-country experience would be winning districts six years in a row. And what is your favorite post-race cheap food? Oh, I really love CeCe's Pizza. Hey, what life lesson did you learn from cross-country? Life lesson I learned from cross-country was that friends come and go, but family is forever. Who would you like to thank for their support in your cross-country career? Uh, first off, I would like to thank my favorite running buddy, Faith Taylor Brothers. She uh, helped me run all throughout high school. And then I would like to thank my three coaches, uh, Coach Thor for helping me these last two years of high school, Coach Hatfelder for shaping my roots, uh, and then my stepdad for helping me sign up for this What was your favorite meet? My favorite meet was probably Nike South. I only got to run at that meet twice, but it was just one of the, the fun meets that we got to go and do. And what is your favorite cross-country tradition? Uh, two of my favorite cross-country traditions are going to CC's after meets and then the Golgotha run we do every year.